let go and stop giving a fuck. Let freaking go and stop giving a fuck. Why? Do you remember back in the day when you used to have Facebook? You when you when it first first came out, yo, the Facebook was the very first one of the you know MySpace and all that. But that that shit don't count. But I'm talking about Facebook. Boy, you got on social media and you start talking and shit. You you got on there and start, hey, oh, shit. I got all my family on here. You start adding all your family and all your friends and all them. And you like, oh, I'm going to get so many likes. I'm going to get so many views. Everybody going to be popping on my little social media because I got all my peoples on there. <laughs> Where they do that at? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But then when you get on there, you 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 post your first little video, you post your little comment, and you realize you ain't getting no likes, no views, nobody tapping the little emojis, you know, shit, they ain't even saying, <laughs> that funny nigga, oh, they ain't even saying, man, that shit whack, they ain't saying shit on that motherfucker, they just on that mug saying, nothing. It's crickets. <laughs> That's how it be. So when you get up on the get when you start that business, let go and stop giving a fuck. Because that's my problem. I always worry about what people gonna think, how many likes, how many social media, I mean, how many emojis I'm gonna get, how many views I'm gonna get. As soon as I post on my every five minutes, every ten minutes, I'm checking. See if anybody done tapped on there and said, hey, good job for Marka. You the shit, man. Man, I've been waiting for you to come out with this shit. You been, you be looking for comments like that from me. I'm talking about you from your family and friends. And you don't get none. You don't get none. You get crickets, man. But, hey, I'm talking about when I first started now. Now now it's a little bit little bit better, you know. Now I'm talking but, but when I look back... And where I came from, as far as starting my YouTube channel, channel <laughs> starting my YouTube channel, I realized nobody wasn't holding me down. Nobody. I had to go on there and do my own light. <laughs> I had to do my own emoji. I had to get on there and say, man, good, good looking out. You doing the shit, man. That shit good. You know, making up accounts and shit. Making people think that, hey, you doing the doggone thing. That's when I first started out. But now, I decided to let go and stop giving a fuck. That's in every area, area of my life. See, I could start talking real fast and I, before I know it, I'm gone. But every area of my life, let go and stop giving a fuck. Stop thinking about what people think of you. Stop let, letting, let go and stop what I'm talking about even that job man don't let me get on my job don't don't let me get on that because we're going down a whole new path see when I started doing YouTube I wasn't thinking about letting go of my job because you know you realize that your job is your 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 bread your bag that's where you make all your money. That's where your money coming in and saying, ooh, la, 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 la. So, you know, you like, you're doing this YouTube thing when you first start out. you like, man, it's a hobby, man. This a hobby. Right now, I'm just chilling. But then when you look at it, you be like, man, this job is holding me back, man. And you like thinking, what can I do to get out the comfort zone and not just get out of my comfort zone, but expand my com comfort zone to a place where I'm not even thinking about my job no more. I'm thinking about branching off and saying my own business, doing my full-time business on YouTube and everything like that. But you always have something that's holding you back. And that's for me. We always, not just for me, that's for both of us, not for you, just me. Both of us, like, that we just be holding on to shit and just fearful to let it go. 
and you 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 thinking about all the benefits, man. They I got insurance. I got that four one one, that four oh one K, man. I got man, I got all this shit. I got purchasing power. I got all that, man. I can't, man, I can't let that go, man. See, that's that fear creeping in. And when you think about your job, yes, I've been doing this for what? Eight years, this particular department. Eight years. But I've been with them for 21 years for the whole thing. And, and you just want to know, you, you, show, you, say, you say it's time for a change, it's time for a new, but you still have that fear creeping in. And I guess this video is not only for you, it's for me. It's to let go and stop giving a fuck. Huh? Once you step out on faith, you have faith in God, you believe in yourself, you have confidence, you have self, your self-worth, you, you believe in yourself, you believe what you have inside of you is of value, and you believe that you can step out out of the comfort zone and expand your comfort zone, shift that new identity of yourself, and be yourself. So this is just a snippet of what I want to tell you. Let go. <laughs> huh? Let go and stop giving a fuck. That co-worker that you, you say keep picking on you. Let go and stop giving a fuck. Let them have it in a nice simple way. It's a way to put things without tearing somebody down where they going to HR on you. They do it to me all the time. Hey, but they do that reverse psychology on me all the time. I'm talking about anybody, not just co-workers, not just family, not just friends, not just strangers, not them Karens and them Beckys and them, them, them Billies and them Bobs. I'm talking about everybody does it. Before you know it, we, we man, we all in competition with one another. If you, if you look at the clear people, they like, they not competing, they trying to help one another. That's, they, they out to help one another. They want to see each other prosper. That's why we as black people, we got to stop and let go and stop giving a fuck. Stop, let go, and stop giving a fuck. Yeah. And back to, back to that social media thing. We got so many social media. We got to use that as marketing tools, baby. Spread the word, spread the word, spread the word, spread the word around. If you really love this video right now, and you love what I'm dropping right now, you think it's a little power tool in that mug, <laughs> and you like that mug, just go on and hit that like button and that subscribe button and say, hey, for my, you do the dog, gone, dang, yo, peace, and I'm out.